Hey everyone, this is Andrew, and in this video I'm going to show you and review the cassette bundle by the Phonoloop. So before we dive into the actual instruments in the libraries, I'm just going to show you this quick track I made, mainly using all the sounds from the cassette bundle, my voice, and some percussion from other sources. Check it out. <laughs> So to dive right into the libraries, I have open uh, Cassette Piano 02. And if you don't know anything about the Phonoloop, a lot of their products revolve around burning things to cassette and giving you kind of options to control the cassette parameters, like which deck you're playing the sounds back from and controlling the noise. So they're very powerful and they're very like vintage slash boards of Canada E sounding. Uh, sounds. So for the cassette piano, it's something big like five gigabytes of piano sounds, um, round robins, multi velocities, uh, different groups and cassette decks, and ability to control noise. You have a bunch of typical synthesizer type controls like ADSRs, you have LFOs, you have filtering, and um, you know, effects. So very powerful instrument in its own right, but also a very nice sounding piano. <laughs> So that's just kind of like a vanilla uh, piano sound. But what you can actually do is you can go into the decks and you can switch to like deck B. So as you can hear, uh, the different decks do actually make a pretty significant difference. Um, there's also stereo options in addition to the mono options, or there's one stereo option in the, the actual one. So, put it on to deck B, put on some noise. So the cool thing is they got that cassette noise and they removed it, probably using something like Isotope RX or some other denoising algorithm, and they were actually able to like extract the noise. I don't know if that's a common feature you can do, but that's that's what they did. You get that lovely tape noise. And of course you can do things like change the attack, so change the cutoff, add some filter envelope. And all of a sudden it's not even a piano, so I dig into some of the lo-fi. Tape saturation. Oh. And also add like wow and flutter. And instantly you get some kind of crazy, you know, vintage Boards of Canada type sound. I'm going to keep saying Boards of Canada because I don't know other bands that are similar to that. Um, but any kind of, I guess, ambient music, like uh, if you've ever seen Heinbach on YouTube, um, this is kind of reminiscent of the type of sounds that he makes in his videos. Uh, if you haven't checked out Heinbach, by the way, his channel is awesome. So um, I'll just play through a couple of the patches here and then we'll move on. Very cool sound. Oh. 
So yeah, I mean, the sound design potential is there. It's definitely very deep, um, but just, you know, in its own right, as a piano sound, you know, I'll pull up uh, my uh, the default patch here, and... And it just, it just sounds very good. So, you know, if you want a piano um, that's pretty cheap, then this is a good option. If you want a crazy vintage sound that's pretty pretty cheap in terms of contact libraries, um, this is also a great option. Also, since I'm saying contact libraries, this is available in other formats, such as I think the Ableton sampler. It's definitely available in the EXS24, whatever the logic sampler is. All right, so cassette keys is similar to cassette piano, except the sounds are more like keyboards instead of pianos. So if you know the sound of an electric keyboard, um, which you know can vary drastically, but um, they use some kind of electric keyboard. Check their uh, website for more information on if they say what kind of sound source they used. It's similar interface. It has that same kind of vintage style. It has the same kind of controls, you know, filter ADSR, uh, regular ADSR, insert effects, end effects, LFO, drift. So we have the default sound on right now. <laughs> very good. Um, so I'll just kind of play through some of these sounds here so you can hear what they are. Broken keys. That sound is incredible. It doesn't sound anything like a keyboard. Um, it sounds... Almost like a kind of weird woodwind blended with something else. Um, then I'll look into the reverse sounds. Oh, that is a cool sound. It's a very, very cool sound. Uh, slow keys reverse. Yeah, that, I could play this thing all day, and I probably uh, will write a lot of songs with these sounds. They're very inspiring. Um, you know, obviously, you can go in and you can make these, sound, these sounds yourself. Uh, if I go back to the default patch, you know, all of a sudden, you have a completely brand new, like, unworldly sound, um, which is very cool. All right, and lastly, we have cassette mallets. As we noticed, the interface is very similar to cassette keys. In fact, uh, I, I think it's exactly the same, minus some coloring. The raw sounds for this, as you might imagine, are like mallet-based, uh, you know, hit sounds. Load on, uh, what the, well, I'm already on default. Let's go to broken. That sounds pretty broken. <laughs> Pseudo lead. Going to uh, trippy. It's 
definitely trippy. So as you can see, uh, just by spending like a couple minutes playing around, you can very quickly uh, sculpt a very unique sound um, in all these libraries. Um, this not just exclusive to cassette mallet. So overall, the, the cassette bundle it's it's a pretty pretty damn good package because for one price you're getting uh, you're getting cassette mallets, cassette keys, and cassette piano. And in terms of the price, if you go to the Phonolosa website right now, you have a couple days uh, to take advantage of the 30% off Black Friday sale that is still running. But even if you miss it, it's not too much of a big deal um, because the cassette bundle is already discounted from the regular, you know, package. All right, I think that just about wraps it up for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Ring that bell if you want to stay updated. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>